Hi everyone, I'm Kathleen. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you my design project for Aldacena Scrap Anne. You can find an, her Etsy shop that will carry this digital amongst a lot of digitals. And she has a Facebook group that you want to check out and I'll have all that information listed down below. So what I decided to do for this month was create just this beautiful feast for the eyes, basically. What I ended up doing was stacking some of the envelopes to create the scallop look right here. And then when you turn it over, one piece of the envelope is here with some tags. So I'll just go over the basics. This I turned into a pocket right here. And I used a variety of the papers I cut apart. I thought it was so pretty. I love how she used the pop of color on some of the envelopes and pages, and then the softness and beauty of this. What I ended up doing was using this red here throughout. I, I really kind of did this sort of a thing all over. So that's why you see this color here. <clears throat> so if you do not like this color, you don't have to do that. That's just something I wanted to do. My pups are rambunctious right now. Um, they've been cooped up because it's been raining over here in California. So um, excuse them if they get a little rowdy. I did tear apart this image. I thought this woman was so pretty. And it. I used the postage stamp to does, the kit does come with some. And uh, this is a seed packet that it came with. I just added some pretty lace and a flower. I did have some of this avocado dyed lace here and so pretty. I always cut the little flowers out with the dangles. I think that's really cute. And added some avocado dyed more lace down here. There's a little peekaboo of lace right here that I added as well. And here I just scrunched up some linen fabric and some more of that av same avocado dyed flowers right there. And when you open this up, you're going to see this right here. What I ended up doing is that envelope on this side, I turned, just turned it into a pocket. I put a little doily, mini doily here that also had been avocado dyed in the image. The truth of the matter is this right here, I couldn't decide whether to put it on because look how pretty that paper is. So, I may somehow do something with the lace, maybe. I'd use this image here. I cut it apart just to, to feature this the man and woman. And back that up with some pretty lace. And this is the backing. I love this pop of color that she uses, you know, with the gentleness of this. I think that's pretty cool. Hold on, my dog wants up. Oh, hold on, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's my dog goes at you guys. Uh. <laughs> okay. All right, baby. <laughs> Can you tell she's full rotten? So going on to this page, I did create this little dangle right here with some of the tickets, the stamps, and then that pretty paper right there. And let me see if I can get that to move so you can see how pretty that is. And I just tied a little lace here and put that image down. And throughout the book, you'll see I cut just some of this really pretty paper and put little pieces throughout just to bring that color together. And this is that really pretty file folder right here. You can see. And this is the center of the file holder. Isn't that paper really pretty? I love this. It is so pretty. So inside, I created this envelope. I just folded one of the papers um, over and it's eight and a half by 11. And I created, turned it into an envelope. For this front cover here, I added again, the little pops of color with that paper and this um, Eiffel Tower image it's like a postcard and a couple of the stamps and i added some fabric and some pretty layering here some crocheted lace and some applique and 
here, I think that's so pretty. I love this polka dot here. And I put some of the applique. And this is the other side right here. So I built this into an envelope by using little leftover pieces of paper that I had from the kit. And inside, I made a journal. I used a bunch of variety of lace and satin ribbon. And then this is a little doily. So let me open it so you can see Isn't that pretty. I had this lace that I thought about putting right there. And I just probably need to glue that in. And here's the couple there. I actually don't know if that's the couple or if it's the dad and the daughter. I don't really know. Because I want to say this might be a very famous wedding that happened in the turn of the century. Um, I can't remember. It's, I think her name might be Conchita, but I'm not sure. Here's a postage stamp. And on the other side, I backed it with that really pretty bright paper and then made a pocket with the little tickets in there. And with this, I put some lace down over the paper. And this is an actual envelope that opened this way, but I did decide to make it open this way instead. And I just attached some paper to it. Here's a little bit of netting and a, tick, a, um, a postage stamp. This paper right there, you can tell, hold on, is this. So you can see that here on this side. I didn't shrink it down or anything. It's just, it is what it is. And then you'll see the other half here. So this is a pretty paper. I just kind of collaged it with other pieces of paper. Cute dog. <laughs> and that's the book. That's a little mini journal. It's not really meant for writing necessarily, unless you had a big fat pen that could cover through the images. I just thought it was a cute lookbook. And that stays here so you can put it in the file. And on the very back side, I have part of an envelope here. See? And these two tags. This is really cute. There's a dog and a little girl. I just put a little bit of color there backed it onto this, onto here, lace image. And this is a real pretty paper. I thought it could be a little journal card. I just wanted the heart to be here, so I cut it out, inked it, and put it here. And there's some really pretty lace here. It's kind of a peachy tone. And here's a, like a dangle with all sort of pretty laces, vintage, and that's it. I like the way the lace peeks out on either side. I think that's really pretty. And this is one of the papers here. I just kind of wanted you to see how pretty it is. And, oh, my dog. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. That's my design team project for January for Old Cena Scrap Band. I hope that it it uh, gave you a little inspiration and some ideas what to, you could make as well. And I will see you again in February for Design Team Project. So I'm already thinking about that one as well. All right, you guys. I hope you're all staying safe and being well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.